If you're looking for a loot boat or a cruiser that can handle bad weather, the Nordhaven 41 could be the boat for you. Take a few minutes and just uh, think about what could be. Welcome to the 50-somethings. We're living life to the fullest and practicing for retirement. Okay, here we have a Norhaven 41 twin 74 horsepower engines. Brings it to a top speed of 10 knots, cruising speed of 6 to 8. So I'd imagine it sips fuel. The 41 foot, she's got plenty of, plenty of room, really nice upper deck for lounging. That's a monster hook right there, so I don't think you'll have a problem with it pulling the hook. And my wife is going to get us a walkthrough on it here in a moment, hopefully. I think it drafts at 4.6 feet, so a little over 4.5 feet. And with that mass down, I was told it's 11 feet. So you got plenty of height. And you'll squeeze it into the shallow areas on the loop. But for the most part, it could be a nice little loop boat. And it's definitely got that forward pilot house with that slanted glass front windshield that I love so much. And again, this is a Norhaven 41, right upstairs there on the upper decks where you're going to have your dinghy located. There, it does not have a flybridge, but it does have a starboard door from the helm area. Let me get a view of this information here, Norhaven 41. Length overall is going to be 41 foot. Beam at 13, 11 inches. So it's got a pretty decent sized beam with a 4.65 draft. Fuel 900 gallons. Range 3,000 nautical miles. Like I was saying, at 74 horsepower on each engine at 2,800 RPMs, she's sipping fuel. That's for sure. Alright, this is the Nordhaven 41. Okay, so. The living area, I mean, it is a little small, um, but it turns into a nice uh, eating area, lounging area. The kitchen, though, I really like. Look at this. It, uh, it's got plenty of storage up here. Um, look at the sink. The sink is absolutely wonderful. Nice and deep. We have a three burner induc uh, induction. We've got the honey of storage down low. I'm assuming. A little storage up here. The helm is nice. It's bolstered. Looks like it's got a 16 inch Garmin on it. Stern and valve thruster. Nope, just stern thruster. Yeah. We've got the starboard side door. Uh, and I missed this. The women. Well, well, free upper. Men, men women. Somebody's going to want to see this. Yeah, there is um, a really good. Is the okay? There's the nice little TV. So between the seating, again, it's not huge in here, but there's plenty of lounging. Uh, this is a high low, so. Drop it. Now imagine. How's the view? Views on it pretty good. Uh, you nice have and clear. pretty much 360 degrees. The only problem you're gonna have is when the door's closed on the starboard side. It's got a smaller window. But other than that, you open the door, you can step right here. It's awesome. Bow and stern? Nope, just bow. Bow thrusters all in. Okay. It is I really I like the sink in the I mean, is it the, is it the it's actually relatively wide coming down um 
What do we have? Okay. So we've got like the little single bunks, cross bed for your guest stateroom. Okay, I'm not sure why, but I really like that light fixture. Um, maybe not quite so shiny, but it's small. But we have some storage for books. We do have actually a couple drawers and I'm not sure that's probably a hanging locker. Um, and I don't see signs so I'm going to open it. Oh my gosh, washer and dryer. Single dryer unit. It is a, okay. So it's a dry head. It's got the plexiglass. It does have a little seat in there. Um, actually, it looks like it's got. We have three drawers, and they are very flush. Uh, three drawers here. We have a door here, and then a drawer there. And that looks like a couple more. This probably has, for the size of it, more storage than uh, I've actually seen uh, on some of the other larger boats. So they moved into the Morgan factory. So, and then, it's not huge, but I have seen smaller, but I am impressed actually with the storage. These are, it looks like a hanging locker, and then two, two drawers, if we can see them here and here, and then, I'm not sure. Oh, that says emergency ladder inside. We have storage here and on this side. And then we have another hanging locker. So for the space, even though it is smaller space, I would say this is probably um, one of the best as far as storage and then we also have more drawers <laughs> down uh, on the bed and it is kind of a walk around Um, relatively wide. I don't have to squish sideways coming up through here, so. Um, very tall railing. I wouldn't feel near as bad in rougher waters on this because I feel like I'd be able to uh, <clears throat> hold on and not go over. Those are some pretty hefty cleats. <clears throat> no playing up on the front. I wouldn't come out here and lounge, but... Yeah, you actually have access from the uh, port side and the starboard side. These gates right here are actually pretty nice. Oh, that's yeah. great. So you can load that's great. from the rear, you can load from the front. It's also Sides left and right. wide enough that you don't have to turn sideways to, ta uh, no, to walk. And I do have some hips, so it's uh, <laughs> I also wanted to make mention that stepping into the rear door at the stern, there is an access cover um, into what they call the commissary, and there is a ton of extra storage down there as well as an additional freezer.